Hey guys, cool thorium. No less cool aluminum, but not everyone in the Mendeleev table took the bright side of coolness. There are those who switched to the dark side. Yep. What did you think? That you knew everything about metals? Like they're just those shiny gray pieces of metalware that you can forge and melt? Oh hell no! Get ready to break some patterns! After all, who is better than a woman to break patterns and contradict all common sense? Meet the most inveterate metal bitch. Mercury. First of all, let's ask her about hardness. Why the hell would you need hardness if you can be liquid? Moreover, the only liquid metal whose melting point is a negative value of degrees Celsius, 38.83. Why? Well, just because. Because a liquid metal can appear between gold and thallium, for no freaking reason. Not only is this the scum showing off its liquid state, it is also dense. If you think it's hard to pull cast iron weights, Try a tub of mercury in which one cubic meter will weigh 13 and a half tons. Also, this silvery fatso laughs at your cast iron, which will just float in her like a cork in water. And if you don't have a strong uranium scrap, don't even think that you can impress her with something. So this dense, well, actually she's not dense, she just has white atomic orbitals. She doesn't eat at night, does she? Oh, she eats. Days, nights, summers, and winters. Yep, you guessed it right. Mercury eats other metals. Gold, aluminum, zinc, this cow will eat anything. And then she comes up with excuses like amalgam intermetallic compounds. But let's call things by their proper names. By the way, Iron is one of the only one in this series who doesn't fall for her and gives Mercury nothing but a huge fuck off. Nah, all this must be a lie and slander. Mercury's a dope girl. Honestly? It's a very crappy idea from all points to become close with her. Wanna know why? Well, because this bitch decided that there were not enough toxic compounds and became one herself. Two and a half grams and you'll kick the bucket. Seriously, this is not some Chelsea with syphilis and the only rubber item that will save you is a gas mask on your face. After all, the whole point is that she will poison your ass with vapor. Vapor? Vapor. Metallic? Metallic! Who the hell is even capable of that? Only a bitch like Mercury! And she clearly does much more than vapor. After all, for thousands of years, she has been slipping beautiful red rocks out of the ground to people. Whoa, would you take a look at this beauty? Let's make some paint from this! And gullible little people smeared their houses with it, having no clue that this was cinnabar, also known as mercury sulfide. Oh, so that's why people didn't live long in the Middle Ages. That's right. But she didn't stop there. Not only does she have a liquid state, she also puts other metals to shame. Take a look at Gallium. He's also liquid in the heat. But poor this guy who challenged her into a bowl and stirred up a little, there'll be nothing left of him. He just sticks to the walls and poof, the kid is gone. But what's going on with Mercury? She's some freaking demon? She does not wet the surface. It's like stirring up a liquid terminator. Well, what should we do with this scam? Is she really all powerful? Who can take her down? Only another poisonous bitch. And it's Sulfur. Her time has come. This yellow bitch is summoned when Mercury gets outside to start an apocalypse. Oh, Mercury. Where are you? Boo, gotcha. As soon as Sulfur touches it, it turns from a vaunted, non-wettable metallic liquid into a miserable powder. And people would throw it away as just toxic waste. But anyway, always be alert and beware of this metal bitch in every possible way. Well, this has been Broccoli, and thanks for your attention. Well guys, I hope now you have learned that not all elements are cool in a good way. And there are those who want to take over this world. But we won't let that happen. So like, subscribe, share the video with your friends, let them also be aware of that metal bitch, and don't forget to scribble in the comment section something about Mercury or about anything else. See ya!